What's going on guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and I just got done watching the Blackmagic Design press conference and they did save the best for last. So after a long time, I guess they got tired of people asking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera too, so they went ahead and announced it today. So today they announced a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera 4K and I I'm here to tell you that it's gonna be one freaking amazing camera. Let's go ahead and go over some specs. So the first exciting thing about this new camera is its dual native ISO. It can shoot up to 25,600. Now, Grant couldn't remember, uh, cause he probably had a lot of stuff going on, but he couldn't remember what the native ISO is, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna come much later on, probably 400 or 800. But similar to the Panasonic GH5S, and other Panasonic cameras, this camera will have dual native ISO. With my GH5S right now, that is probably my favorite feature, and they're gonna put it in the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. That's insane. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the touchscreen. It's five inches, it looks clear, it looks great. So the next thing is, it can record to internal SD cards, internal CFast cards, and external hard drives via a USB. That's crazy. Pretty much you can carry around an external USB hard drive and record straight into it. In reality, the external hard drives are much cheaper than buying like a CFast card. Grant did say that there's gonna be some built-in 3D LUTs in the camera. It can, you can also bake in some LUTs, I guess. That's custom LUTs for later on, but more about that later on when we actually get the camera and test some stuff with it. It is gonna come with a mini XLR audio input, which is really good for such a small camera and it's gonna come with a regular mic jack and headphone jack. I know this looks amazing on paper, but I've bought my first BMCC camera back in 2013 when it first came out and I'm telling you right now, if the color science of this camera, I don't care about any other features, if the color science of this camera is as good as the rest of their cameras, all the other bonuses are just other bonuses because I love the black magic raw color science, whatever you want to call it. I've been wanting to go back to a black magic camera. I even bought the Ursa Mini 4.6K, but it was just way too big. But I think this new Pocket Cinema Camera 4K is gonna just destroy the camera market if they can deliver it. Now, the price point is gonna be $12.95 but that includes the Vinci Resolve, which is $299. If you sell that on eBay, you can probably get $150, so that's $150 less. So overall, just a freaking recap, this camera can shoot raw internally, 60 frames per second, 4K, 13 stops of dynamic range. I am gonna be comparing the GH5S with this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K whenever it arrives. They said it should be shipping September of 2018, but you can take that with a grain of salt because like I said, I've bought Blackmagic cameras before and uh, there's just something about, I don't know, it's, it's a whole circus fiasco, but um, we probably won't see the camera until December, but that's just you know from their past uh, products. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Are you excited? I am because I'm going to be comparing my GH5S. Now I can't wait to go back to shooting raw. I totally miss it.